It's James Cronk of Golf Industry Guru, and I am back with our weekly feature, The Gig Giveaway, where we share with you one of the lessons that our gig members have learned from one of our world-class gurus. Now, I recently chatted with Mike Orloff of Golf Industry Central, a full-service golf industry consulting firm in Australia. Mike has worked with American Golf, Club Corps, and many others, and over the years has delved deep into many different golf industry topics, including slow play. In fact, Mike spent some time learning from the slow play guru himself, Bill Yates. So my gig giveaway this week that I want to share with you are some of the reasons for slow play and how to fix them. But first, Mike talked about the three currencies that are important to every golfer. Number one is the cost currency. What is the green fee I want to pay to play golf? Number two is the time currency. What is the value of my time and am I getting that value by playing golf? And number three, and most important, is the emotional currency. What is the enjoyment that I am getting and how does playing golf make me feel? So when we talk about managing the time currency, Mike spoke about the three factors that Bill Yates determined that impact pace of play at every golf course, which is included in his book, Out of Time. So one is the length of the course, including the distance between tees and greens. Number two, is the difficulty of the golf course. And number three, of course, is the course setup, such as is the rough five inches and the pin stop. So obviously we can't redesign a peat die class to shave off 10 minutes, but we can manage the time currency at our facility. For example, we can identify, number one, what is our course's time par? I mean, maybe it's four hours, but if we have to walk 200 yards or drive 200 yards between each hole, then maybe our time par is 435. And then we need to communicate to our guests and our members what our time par is. And, and, and also, what is that day's pace of play at compared to our time par? We can also set up the golf course appropriately for the day. I mean, if we have a full tee sheet on a Saturday and a group of 24 tourists from Texas, then it's not the day to stretch out the tee blocks and to tuck the pins behind the bunkers. And we can also make sure that we start groups on time and not leave it to them to hit when they're ready. I mean, if we have nine minute tee time intervals, well then nine minutes it is. And lastly, we can also train our marshals on how to manage flow on the golf course. Where are the spots on the course where there might be trouble or identifying a potential problem group within their first two or three holes. And then making sure our course ambassadors have a great script on the progressive actions that they can take with slow groups. And I guess we should also, by the way, get a copy of Bill Yates' great book, Out of Time. So to learn more from Mike Orloff, including our other podcasts with Mike on the customer journey, or to learn from our other dozens of other industry leading experts, trainers, and consultants, come join us at Golf Industry Guru. World-class online training for you, your management team, and your staff for literally just $3 a day. So thanks so much for joining us. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, as well as hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload another gig giveaway here on our gig channel. So thanks for watching. And as we like to say, we'll see you on the inside.